Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And I, the second part of my Sephora haul has finally arrived, or the second, <clears throat> third and fourth parts. Oh. <laughs> and listen, I'm late to the game. The sale is long over even by the time I'm filming this, but I still wanna show you what I picked up. So I mentioned in my last haul that I had gotten the L'Occitane shower oil, but that I also picked up the Capari shower oil. So this is it right here. This is the Capari Hydrating Vitamin C shower oil. And I picked up two of these. Um, I like the pump and the little, the little cap here that keeps it. I will say it doesn't smell. I've had their shower gel. It doesn't smell the same as the shower gel and I thought it would and it's not as much of an oil as the L'Occitane. So um, this is great for like after I've gotten back from like dance class or ballet or gotten done with a workout because it's a little more shower gel like than let's say the L'Occitane which is like my favorite shower oil. I've tried the Trader Gel shower oil. I didn't love it. So, but this, this is cool. I have two of these. I don't know if I will repurchase these again. Well, I might, I might repurchase it because I've been using one already. I might repurchase it because it is like, I would prefer to use this after I've been like in dance class or working out or something like that over the loss of time, which is more like relaxing, soothing. So picked up two of these. The other one is in my shower. <laughs> And then I also mentioned that I picked up the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Juice Moisturizer. So um, in case you're unfamiliar with this, I'll show you what this looks like. I picked up two of these. This is not my first experience with this. So this is what it looks like. Um, I currently have one in my bathroom. I love this. I have very oily skin. And so in the daytime, I particularly in the hot spring and summer here in Texas, I don't necessarily want like a heavy cream, but I still want to feel moisturized. This is it. You know, I've heard great things about this. I've heard not so great things about it. I enjoy it. It's very, very lightweight. So if you have dry skin, I don't know if you would love it. Even if you have normal skin, I don't know if you would love this. But my oily skin, I want something very lightweight. It's, it's very liquidy. It's very gel-like. Um... So I've been using it for a couple of years. It's not my only moisturizer and it definitely doesn't work for me in the winter time, but I like it. And it's, I would, that's not my nighttime moisturizer either. I like a heavier moisturizer at night because I feel like that's when the skin is repairing itself. So, okay. I also picked up the, um, speaking of summertime for, uh, makeup friendly products. I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Matte Powder Foundation. So let me tell you something that's interesting. Like right now, I actually have this on right now. So it gets like upwards of 110 degrees Fahrenheit here in Dallas in the summertime. And I still like to wear makeup even when it's hot, but I'm not about to be dripping with liquid foundation and then concealer and then powder. So for years, I've just used the MAC Studio Fix. Um, powder but i the shade match in this is so spot on to me in the liquid that i was like i really want to try it when i saw it i was like oh they have it in a powder and y'all let me tell you first of all i think it looks amazing um i have a couple things on with it but let me show you the shade I, you probably can't tell that's my exact it's my exact shade once it blends out on the skin so this is the compact i haven't even taken the um plastic off because that's just, um, <laughs> I will, but I haven't. And so, yeah, so I picked that up and I've used it twice already and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I will say this, while it's a matte powder, I'm not super matte, okay? So that's the only thing. I like to be matte, almost flat matte because my skin is so oily. I already know that it's going to um, end up giving me a natural finish, okay? The other thing I picked up is I picked up another bougie primer. I picked up the Tom Ford um, Traceless Soft Matte Primer. And listen, okay, I today is my first day wearing it. So this is this is the container. I also have Tom Ford's Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I love this, but I love it in the wintertime because while it says this is soft matte, 
it's more like a natural finish okay like okay I will say this I love the texture of this now I also remember I also got the Gucci okay um I've I've used the Gucci a couple times today is my first day wearing this so I can't necessarily report and tell you but I love the way it feels on the skin it does have a scent to it I love the packaging of this better this is glass this is plastic okay um both of them super bouge that's just where I'm at in my life right now okay I will say that this one I enjoy it but it does not play well with other primers so I, I think I've mentioned this before I love to kind of cocktail a lot of my makeup products not because they need it more so because it's like cooking on my face to me it's like mixing ingredients together so i like to play in makeup i have not tried to cocktail this yet okay i have not tried to cocktail this yet but we will see what it turns out to be so also i wanted to mention this before i get into the last couple of things in both of my last two hauls i had enough points um i had um to get the la mer this is called the la mer radiance essentials even though i have oily skin listen i have two of these okay um with the samples and i already have one set in my bathroom but i'll show you this set because i had the points and so it's a great way for me to try la mer for an extended period of time to see if i would want to invest in the brand now, I have tried some some of their samples before and I love them these this this package is a little different so let me show you there's four pieces in here there is the eye concentrate which I really enjoyed this the last time I have it so now I have two of these um, I also have the concentrate tried this before really enjoyed it have two of those this one is the one I haven't tried, which is the Regenerating Serum. So I'm curious about that. And then I've also tried the Creme de la Mer Moisturizing Cream. I like that. So I, I love these products at night. Even though right now I've been using, I have some, some deluxe samples. No, they were not samples. They were like travel size of Estee Lauder Advanced Eye Repair. And let me tell you something. It's like I said earlier in a, um, oh, I don't think that video's gonna be it, but I was saying like, I really started to have a love affair with Estee Lauder. And there is a reason why that advanced night repair is still around because baby, sometimes when I have a blemish, I will, like I, if I feel a blemish coming, you know, I'll do my night nighttime skincare routine. I'll put the advanced night repair on the blemish, wake up, Baby, it's gone. What is happening? Yes, it's repairing. Okay, um, so I have I have two sets of these now. I also picked up another of the Sephora um, lip liner in molasses because I already know already know me. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then the last two things I picked up, and I, oh, I got some other fragrance samples. I think I have a Chanel. Killian and something else in samples. I should have brought it, but I but I purchased two fragrances, um, two small fragrances because I only had I only smelled these like and we did one spray in store, so I didn't want to commit to a huge bottle. But I picked up the Coco Mademoiselle um, from Chanel, and y'all, I didn't think I didn't think I would like it, but I do. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't have the notes in front of me. I mean, it's a cute little bottle because I want to have several bottles. I'm starting with small bottles and kind of see which ones I'm going to be gravitating towards the most. But this, oh my goodness. You know how people, like I watch people do this on YouTube and I'm like, I can't smell it. But listen, smell it. Okay, do you smell it? Oh my gosh, it smell. oh. I I like it. But I, this is what I know about myself. I know that I like fruity florals and I like, um, what is it? Sweet florals? Is that what it is? Or, or warm florals, excuse me. So probably sweet florals, warm florals, and fruity florals. And this this is right in that category. And what I've always kind of known about myself is, is that the color of a perfume or a fragrance lets me usually can tell me if it's going to be even in the wheelhouse of something that I like so I kind of know if it's gonna if it's gonna give me this kind of light pink color 
generally is in the wheelhouse of something that I would enjoy. If it's like a dark amber and it's like super brown, I'm probably not going to enjoy it because it's very vanilla-y and musky and gourmand. Some people love that. I also know if it's like clear and like with a in a silver bottle and it's very like fresh and crisp probably not gonna like that and definitely if it's blue green or yellow i'm not gonna like it so typically pink red fuchsia lets me know it's going to give me that sweet not sweet like vanilla sweet like fruity sweet or warm floral or or fruity floral now the one that i that i i already know i'm gonna buy a big bottle of is this Lancome and I wish I remember the name of it. I'll have to flash it on the screen. This is the small bottle. I, what do I have on it? I don't got some on it. Listen, this the one. Oh my gosh. I, you know, here's the thing. I am not a fan of buying fragrances that are super popular. Both of these are very popular fragrances, but they are popular for a reason. I'm gonna wear this one today. They are popular for a reason okay so um listen i've already you can you can look and see i don't know if you can see this i've already been wearing this out okay i just oh it again it's that i didn't think i liked floral y'all i didn't and you would think as a chef i would like gourmand but i don't so um, yeah, so I, I'm curating my fragrance collection and, uh, let me know in the comments below. First of all, did you participate in the Sephora sale? Is that not your thing? Were you over all of the videos? Cause the videos was coming out. Okay. And since I'm not, you know, a full-time beauty vlogger, uh, my stuff is, is, is late and I had some technical difficulties. And so here we are. So I'm just sharing and uh, oh oh my goodness me oh that just you ever just want to own yourself all day anyway i i am about to head out but i wanted to share with you what i got so let me know what are some of your favorite fruity florals warm floral sweet floral scents that you enjoy i'm definitely looking for some and i listen if you have some niche house recommendations i am open to that but yeah that's all that's i think that's the last of everything that i got from the sephora sale like i said i got a couple of other fragrance samples i got killian um love don't be shy i think i got tom ford i think it's ombre leather which i don't even know why i got that because i already know i'm probably not gonna like that i got another chanel um sample for a different fragrance and then i think i got a versace sample y'all know i'd be getting the samples because that's how I found in the fragrance. I got a whole little bowl of like all these samples that I can kind of play with and work through. But right now, these two got me. So I think as far as this kind of scent, because they're similar, they're not the same, but they're very similar. I think as far as this type of scent, first of all, this just, this just smells like every day you just want to smell good. You know what I'm saying? You just, and every night you just want to smell good but early evening like not nighttime not you know not nighttime but like you know just five o'clock okay so anyway y'all that is it for my haul i hope you've been enjoying this beauty content i've been enjoying creating it i hope you can tell and uh, yeah yeah i'll see you in my next video might be a vlog might be a get ready with me i will say as of the time of watching this video i just saw Michelle Wong, who is one of my favorite luxury beauty YouTubers, um, haul the new Dior Quince and the new Hermes lip oils. And if you know, if you've heard me talk about a lip balm, a tinted lip balm, that's something that's kind of sheer, a little color, kind of sheer. When I saw the colors and her swatch it, I was like, I might need that in my life. So, but we, we, we got other things we trying to do. Okay, then buy all the makeups. But when I, I saw that, first of all, when I saw the Dior Quinn on Instagram, I was just like, and to this date, I have not bought a Dior Quint. Okay, I've, I've swatched them. I've gone in store, but they released at least two colorways that I was just like, girl so anyway 
Okay, let me bring it back in and the Hermes lip oils. Because I love, I love, I have two Hermes lipsticks. I enjoy them. Okay? So, all right, y'all. Enough rambling. I'll see you in my next video.